Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. I thought it might be interesting to talk a little bit about um, doing smoky eyes with Tom Ford products, partly because I had a little dip into my makeup vault and pulled out um, this blast from the past, which was a Tom Ford for Estee Lauder eye gloss called Black Amber which is about 10 years old now. I haven't had it for 10 years. Um, I sourced it on eBay some years afterwards. Um, but I noticed that the eye glosses are kind of making a bit of a comeback, not with Tom Ford, but, um, for example, the Mac Cinderella uh, collection that I was having a little look at. I didn't buy anything from it. I wasn't overly impressed. has brought out... Um, a couple of eye glosses and I also wanted to kind of compare it with the um, Tom Ford Spring 2015 cream colour for eyes which of course is quite a different formulation but um, kind of maybe being used in the same way I don't know because I haven't really got to grips with the best way to use this so um, I guess uh, having a little look at the uh, Tom Ford Black Amber eye gloss. This was um, made back in the day before Tom Ford really got into um, manufacturing cosmetics on his own line. He used to do um, runs for Estee Lauder who of course own the Tom Ford um, companies. And uh, so this is a kind of mishmash between Estee Lauder and Tom Ford and you can see the very typical kind of Estee Lauder um, compact that they do for all sorts of products um, and this one is a black eye gloss and uh, you can see although I've had it for quite a while and I think this product was initially released in about 2005-2006 we're talking about a decade ago um, it's still good to go and uh, although I don't use it very regularly I have used it from time to time and you can see um, barely made an impression and it's a kind of interesting, almost lip gloss texture. It's very greasy, very slidy, um, and very dark pigmented. And when I got the Tom Ford eye cream in the spring 2015 colorway, which is easily the darkest of the many Tom Ford eye creams I've had over the last few years, it really made me kind of think of this eye gloss. Um, if anything, the cream, which is a completely different texture, it's very much a cream rather than a sticky gloss, but is incredibly pigmented. Um, that tiny dot there, um, I showed you in my initial video when I got this, you know, goes on enormously, alarmingly dark. Um, I mean, you can smudge it out, but it takes quite a lot of pressure and is quite difficult to smudge out tidily, which I suppose is the point um, with this product. Now there's the original eye gloss, which you can see ends up looking terribly similar, although um, they're quite different consistencies. Now that I've used the eye cream a few times, I have to say I find it by far the hardest of the Tom Ford eye creams to use. Um, I'm used to smudging them on with my fingers and finding them very easy to apply, either to wear as a simple eye on their own or I like to use them as a base for Tom Ford shadows. I find this one, because it's so pigmented, really quite difficult and I definitely have to blend out with a brush. But it also dries on the lid quite quickly so you have to work work quickly or get quite a messy eye um, and I found that it creases on my eyelid far more than any of the other Tom Ford eye creams um, or more noticeably I don't notice with the others even with long wear um, I don't normally wear a primer under them and uh, I don't have to this one does crease um, this older eye gloss is quite an interesting product. It does definitely crease if you wear it as the base or on its own. 
I actually found it and find it most effective unusually over um, a powder eyeshadow or a primer and it is easier to work with because it's slippier um, given the dense pigmentation than the eye cream um, so in that sense for a simple smoky eye from a cream product I actually prefer this older formulation incidentally it's quite quite different to the MAC um, uh, eye glosses that are out in the Cinderella formula which are to be honest just like glue they're quite glittery as well they're not um, a, a matter shade like this one and uh, I I've only tried them out in the store uh, I couldn't imagine really wearing them on my eye they were literally just like glue and because I've got quite big lids and some crepiness it was just a horrible mess within seconds um, but I noticed even on the you know model like uh, made up uh, sales assistant I really didn't think it looked good it was almost more like theatrical makeup um, and not very successful at all so uh, just quite interesting to see you know where Tom Ford is a decade on from um, that original eye gloss um, I thought I'd show you at the same time I bought another quad recently from the permanent range this is titanium smoke which is the classic smoky eye quad from Tom Ford. I should say, if I haven't mentioned already, um, I don't buy my um, Tom Ford quads from um, Tom Ford suppliers, except when they're limited edition. You kind of have to, or you're not going to get them. I find you can get them on eBay, usually at about 20 quid or so, under the £63 selling price. Um, they're obviously overstock supplies. They're not fakes. I mean, they're the real thing. Um, you know, particularly if you're willing to buy one that's been used for um, a, a blog sampling and that's all. But lots of um, perfectly brand new in box ones come up from time to time, generally around the 40, 45 pound mark with some postage, perhaps. So well worth looking for. I mean, you obviously can't get exactly what you want at the moment you want it. You have to keep an eye out. Um, I'm not a great smoky eye wearer, so this is one I haven't kind of um, pushed to get, but it came up. I think I paid about £36 for it. Um, I haven't used it a lot. Uh, I really like this grey shade, which is a real dove grey. Looks a bit luminous, but not too shiny. Really nice smudge out. And even the glitter here, I'm not a great glitter fan. This... Um, goldy glitter here is quite interesting very pigmented real kind of disco shade um gives a real kind of fairy dust i don't think that's showing a little bit there um quite nice to pat on for the evening over the other shades the two um the matte black as you can see incredibly pigmented um i would only use that for lining and then there's a black glittery shade which um very very pretty uh but extremely pigmented as you see and slightly difficult to apply without being a bit patchy so this isn't a palette that I would use a lot simply because I'm not um <laughs> a huge rock chick I just can't carry the the look off with my um blue eyes but um if you like a smoky eye look you know this palette would be a real must uh, I'm slowly building up my Tom Ford quad collection. Uh, I really like them. And, um, you know, although they're expensive, you get a ton of product and it's really good quality. I haven't been wearing my duos a lot yet because I they're not terribly spring appropriate, I don't think. But I am enjoying them. The, the whole layering concept that um, you'll have seen in a ton of videos Um makes the smoky eye much more wearable um, and these overlay shades really pretty over other products um, if you're into the layering uh, I think the plum one is the most wearable I like the jade as well um, so I think you know if I could only have 
one of the products I would look at the quads over the duos because they're so much better value I mean I think these are 40 something pounds just for the two but you know the whole layering is a an, an interesting concept so you know me I'm a real Tom Ford fan I really like uh, working with his products even though I'm not a smoky eye um, aficionado and I prefer um, the more um, bland colours that he comes out with I think um, these products are a, a must if you're seriously interested in makeup I would say that I think this um, spring 2015 cream eyeshadow it's still available you can get hold of it I have to say unless you're a real rock chick girl um, this is my least favourite of all his eye creams and I do think it's quite difficult to work with um, so if you're only going for one eye cream I, I'd go for definitely one of his others platinum and spice is still available for example but well worth looking at so I'll speak to you soon bye for now